Hello, it's Behaving Beardly. Uh, we're back with another streamer's DIY video. Uh, a short one today, I hope. Um, what we're going to be looking at is how to record your stream, but not include certain aspects of your audio. Now, before you start panicking, don't worry. Recording your stream has minimal impact on your GPU and CPU. So this is something that everyone who streams should be able to do. The only time you might have an issue is if you're using maybe an older hard disk drive. Um, do use an SSD where possible, just because they're faster. Um, I've had no issue using a hard disk drive, but I have seen people that have. Um, but end of the day, just try it. Uh, if it doesn't work, just stop recording. So basically, who is this for? Uh, everyone. If you want to create highlight videos uh, for YouTube, say, um, and you don't want to include your music uh, for two reasons. A, because you don't want the music to be jumping all over when you edit it. And you maybe don't want to get a copyright strike on YouTube. So obviously that's uh, one aspect this would help. Maybe you have a lot of sound effects on stream. You don't want to be recorded for when you're making a video. I don't know. It's, there's limitless reasons why you want to take certain parts of audio out of your stream. So let's, um, let's get straight into it. Let's have a look. First thing to note is you're going to have to have your audio separated. So as you can see here, I've got my microphone, my browser, my deck, Discord, game audio, music, um, all separated in my OBS. If you haven't done this already, I created a YouTube video previously in the same playlist as this one. It's uh, the Streamers DIY collection explaining how to separate your audio. Um, so have a look at that first if it, you haven't already got that source separated in your OBS. I'll put a link in the description as well. Hopefully, I'll remember to put a link to that in the description. Um, with that in mind, I'll quickly get out of the way. If you do find these videos helpful, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Um, the videos I choose to make all depend on which get the most engagement. So if my reaction or highlight videos are getting more reaction, I will focus on them. It's, it's simple. Anyway, thank you. Um, so first thing first, um, you will need to bring up your settings um, on Streamlabs OBS. It's now moved to the bottom left hand side down here. So you click on that and here's your settings. If you're in OBS Studio, the settings is at the bottom right down here. They're both very, very similar. Um, so you should be able to find your way around. OK. So first thing second you will need to click on output. And then at the top here, you can see it says simple mode. Now it's not letting me change it because I'm recording on Streamlabs OBS. Whoops. So what I'll do is I'll bring up OBS Studio. <laughs> so we are going to output, same thing. At the top, it says simple. We're moving to advanced. So as you can see here, um, well, you need to click on recording. Now we've got here audio track one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I have two selected. Um, the reason, well, basically my first track is everything. Second track doesn't include um, the music. You will need to change the recording format from MKV. Um, I use MP4. The reason um, you need to change it is MKV cannot record multiple audio tracks, whereas MP4 can. And when you're deciding how many audio tracks to select, Bear in mind that if you haven't maybe got a high-end PC, when you move this MP4 to your video editing software, um, it will require more resources to have separate audio tracks. Um, I hope that makes sense. So I just keep mine to two audio tracks because I'm simple. I just have one for everything and one not including music. So then I go to audio. Yep, and you can change the names here. So main... Uh, I have my second one called music because that doesn't include the music. And then that's set up on this side. Yep, so we've got two selected. You can choose your recording path, so the file in which it records the video to. Recording format, MP4, how many audio tracks you want. So, for example, um, I don't want to, anyone to get confused here. Audio track will always include all audio. Audio 2, I've got it. I'll have it not including music. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You could have a third. Um, that maybe doesn't include music and sound effects like alerts. It's it's up to you. You can you can play with this and do what you want. 
But basically, once we've got that changed in recording and we've renamed our tracks in audio, we can click OK and save that. Uh, let me go back to Streamlabs OBS. Once you've done that, you want to click on the little gear at the top here. If you're on Streamlabs OBS, which brings up this little box. If you are in OBS Studio, again, on your mixer, um, I hope you can see this at the bottom here. Right click, go to properties. No, nope, sorry. Right click, go to advanced. There we go, advanced audio. So there we go. That brings this up here. I'm going to show you this in Streamlabs, though, because um, Streamlabs, the one I've already got set up. There we go. So as you can see, here's all my audio sources, lots and lots and lots of them. And if you see here, when I go down, um, let me just move my webcam. Uh, ooh, there we go. Uh, so where is music? There it is. And as you can see on auxiliary and music, I've got number two unselected. Now I could organize all these and untick the ones that I, I don't need, but uh, it is what it is. So for this instance, I've just got music unticked. Um, you could have your Discord unticked, so the uh, in-game voice chat, because I use Discord for voice chat. So that would mean the voice chat is not included in the recordings, which is pretty cool as well. So basically, here's where you decide what's on what track. If you untick it, it's not included on that track. One thing to bear in mind is never touch track one. Everything on track one um, is what's outputted to your stream. If you untick anything in track one, it will not be broadcast to your viewers. But if in the odd occurrence you want something not included on your stream, but you want to include it in the recording, you could untick it from track one. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. I hope that makes sense. If you do get stuck with anything, uh, just let me know in the comments. And I'll obviously demonstrate this to you now. Let me just open up my media player. I use Pretzel Rocks. Um, I love Pretzel Rocks. It's all royalty-free music, uh, which is brilliant for when you're streaming. Uh, that should open any second and start playing music. There it is. So there we go. As you can see, that's Pretzel. It's currently playing music. So what I'm going to do is quickly open this section of the recording, uh, put it into Adobe Premiere, Premiere Pro, and I'll show you what it looks like. There'll be two audio tracks on there, one including the music, one without the music. And just to quickly uh, note, you can see that when I speak, the music volume turns down. If you want to know how to do that, again, have a look at my previous videos. I think it's called How to Do Sidechain or Audio Ducking, but it's in the same playlist as this video. So I'll stop this recording now and open it in Adobe Premiere. Well, that I've just um, recorded with the music playing in the background. So if I click play, you should hear a little bit of an echo. There it is. So there we go, as you can see, that's Pretzel, it's currently playing music. because That's got two audio tracks, so the you can hear music in the background there. So what I'm gonna do is quickly open this section there we go. So what I will do is the top one includes all, all the audio. So I'll delete that. That's now been deleted. So if I go back, there'll be no music now. There it is. So there we go. As you can see, that's Pretzel. It's currently playing music. So what I'm going to do is quickly open. And that's it. It is that simple. Um, I hope you found this uh, helpful. Again, if you do hit the... Um, uh, sorry, I do realize that my green screen is rubbish today. It's because I don't normally record or stream during the daytime and the sun's out. Um, but anyway, I am a Tato and this is how I roll. If you have, again, found this useful, please do drop in the comments, like, subscribe, so I know to make more of these videos. Um, I hope you have learned something. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'll be back next time. My name is Jimmy. This is Behaving Beardly. If you haven't enjoyed yourselves, well, hey, stick with it. It will grow on you. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. <laughs>